In our Sunrise Smart Start, a carjacking overnight in the area of the 100 block of Pulaski Street. When police officers arrived, they say they found the victim, a 57-year-old male city resident, with a graze wound to the face from a gunshot. The victim was taken to Strong Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. No suspects are in custody, and anyone with info is asked to call 911. Turning it over to James Gilbert now for a look at your morning forecast. Still 77 degrees out there, yeah. James. It's been hot and muggy all morning, but at least uh, we're not seeing those temperatures rise too much this morning. That's <laughs> right, yeah. And, and the vast majority of people dealing with that. Partly cloudy skies, upper mm -hmm. 70s. Uh, but What's uh, lovely about this uh, is uh, we can be nitpicky with where the rain is right now. There's one spot where it is raining, and that happens to be Canandaigua, where we have a camera. So this camera is showing that rain, a quick passing downpour, and there it is. Uh, many of our viewers that are across Rochester and the greater Rochester area in Monroe County, you are dry. Otherwise, there it is. That downpour slides on by. We're dry for most of the day. Uh, just a passing shower this afternoon. Uh, we'll take a look at the eight-day forecast uh, coming up at the end of the show. Allie, back to you. All right, James, let's take a look at the roads. Uh, no accidents out there. There is some slowdown on 259 North near Union Street, but otherwise, roads are looking pretty good. It should be a smooth ride into work this morning. All right, in our developing news this morning, a local real estate agent is arrested after accusations of tying up a former girlfriend punching and choking her and then threatening her with a gun. That man is 38-year-old C.J. Lore of Pittsford. Ericetta Cost joining us in studio this morning with much more. Ericetta. Good morning, and we've interviewed Lore before a few times. You may recognize him as he's also one of many siblings accusing a local doctor of inseminating his mother with um, his own sperm instead of an anonymous donor. Here's what we're learning from a court paperwork today. Five days is how long Lore's then girlfriend says she felt trapped in his home after he got upset and according to documents allegedly punched her in the chest and tied her up. Paperwork goes on to allege she choked her at one point, pushed her down the basement after she tried to escape and according to the, the, the then girlfriend, Lore kept saying, quote, if the police come, we are both going out. I will shoot you and I will shoot it out with them. I am not going to jail. Laura is in jail tonight because five days after the alleged assault, his girlfriend says he finally left the house, gave her a chance to get her phone and keys from a lockbox and flee. Laura is now charged with kidnapping and assault, among other charges. And if you need help or someone you know may be in a domestic violence situation, you, you can call the number 222-SAFE. Again, that's 222-SAFE. We'll be sure to follow this story as it develops, Allie. All right, Ericetta, thank you. We have those former interviews with Laura regarding the alleged fertility fraud over on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Well, the Rochester Police Accountability Board is accusing the city of holding the agency back from investigating the nearly 100 complaints of misconduct they've received since June 20th. PAB investigators argue they need direct access to the Rochester Police database system for immediate access of body cam footage personnel records, and other documents. But the city says its charter does not allow this, adding requests should be made to RPD. President Biden has released mankind's deepest view of the cosmos to date. The peak at the first image from NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope comes one day before the space agency's big reveal. The web seeks to unravel space's biggest mysteries dating back to just after the Big Bang. NASA and the European and Canadian space agencies sent the $9 billion web observatory into space last Christmas. Each of those white dots you see in the image is a galaxy. A fast-growing wildfire in Yosemite National Park is threatening hundreds of the park's famous giant sequoias, some of the largest trees in the world, sequoias I should say. Hundreds of the firefighters are forcing evacuations in the southern corner of the park where they are still trying to contain the flames which threaten nearly 500 sequoia trees, more than 2,000 acres of flames paired with blistering heat, low humidity and difficult terrain. 
still out of control at the park, and that fire is so intense, it's creating its own weather system, causing updrafts powerful enough to launch debris into the air. All right, turning now to the latest on COVID-19, the new COVID variant BA5 has made its way to New York, with New York City recognized as the hub of new cases. Doctors say the BA5 variant is more contagious, but may not be as severe as other variants. Health officials still advise people to take caution. Nevertheless, we're told by local doctors that many of the new cases reported are likely BA5. Here's what some people might be talking about at the water cooler this morning. Hundreds of couples whose weddings were derailed or scaled back from the COVID-19 pandemic getting a do-over thanks to a New York City landmark. The Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts hosting a Celebrate Love, a re-wedding that happened Sunday evening. The event featuring a multicultural ceremony, music and dancing, and their website noted that the ceremony was not legally binding. Very cool for those uh, couples to be able to celebrate all together, James. Yeah, so many things got pushed back uh, through 2020, and I know that uh, at least wedding venues locally are mm. booked to the teeth. Uh, oh, yes. This year, next year, I've heard couples booking a 2024 mm -hmm. wedding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Depending on the space, yeah, they're booked up for years. Yeah, you know what I say to that? Enjoy your engagement. Yes, right? it is a fun time. Enjoy, yeah. uh, you know, getting time to actually prepare and plan for that wedding. Exactly. You're going to be married for the rest of your life. Why not milk the engagement? Yeah, have fun with it. Right? Yeah, fiance. Get used <laughs> to that word. Uh, lower 80s this afternoon, then we drop that number down. I'm looking forward to those overnight lows back in mm. the 60s and 50s tonight. And then another bit of a dry stretch. Hoping we can cash in on a little bit more rain this afternoon. All right, James. Thank you, and thanks so much for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update coming up in 30 minutes. CBS Mornings, up next.